What up guys, welcome to High Ink Studios and today we're going to look at the workflow from DaVinci Resolve Fusion into Blender and we're also going to talk about Unreal Engine. Alright, with that being said, I have a tracked camera tracking here. Okay, whatever it is, but yeah, I have a tracked camera. As you can see, I can just play through and you see here the camera is moving accordingly. And all I have to do is to just add exporter. I already have it searched. It's FBX exporter. Just add it. And it's going to ask you for the location. I'm going to choose the same location and same name. Save. Yes. And I uh, can just plug it there. And what you need to do is to just uh, go to Fusion, render all savers. And there it goes. The information is saved. Then in Blender, all you have to do is to just import that information by coming up here. Then um, import FBX. I'm not going to import this information in this one, so I can just create new. Um, general. Uh, save that, yes. Then I don't need this. I don't need the whole thing here. fbx now you have to tell blender like the same location here is blender that uh, then the scene is a little bit smaller so what you need to do is you just have to change the scale in delta transform don't don't turn around that camera because you'll have to turn it around on each keyframe just turn it around here it's already turned around blender unfortunately doesn't use this like uh, fusion so basically we don't need this then this one here let's just go back to cycles this one here it has to be our shadow catcher under visibility shadow catcher and that's it uh and then on your camera what you need to do is you just need to add that images the frame rate from blender and uh, fusion must match in order for this to work smoothly so i already have the fusion clip that is running at 24 frames per second mm. it's under videos let's go blender open now you can see this up until you press here so you can see it's been obstructed by this all you have to do is just come up here and press uh that viewport shading and now i can be able to see anything now with that being said uh, also what we need to do is um uh, come up here at uh, this one here and uh, go in here transparent we need that so that we can start seeing that image and just like that you have everything that you need you can just add your 3d elements before i add 3d element let me just ensure my color space is exactly what it's supposed to be at the moment i'm using aces and i don't want to use aces uh, for this when, you, when i'm importing so let me just fix this So now you can see the colors are appearing as they're supposed to. So uh, back that was just aces, so I couldn't. Uh, that's why you couldn't see the colors being nice there. With that being said, uh, let me just come up here. So now you can see the colors are nicely there. So let me just add the 3D element into this scene. Camera, camera 
twice here. Yeah. Uh, G in the x axis, okay. G in the y axis, G in the x axis. Or you can, or what you can do is just to lock your camera. Now it's dark, I can't see anything else. The shade is not perfect as well as the this is dark. So, what you need to do is you just come up here that environment texture and open and locate your HDR. So normally I will have my HDRs in here. So studio is the one that I have. Took it from Polygon Haven. And now you can see my watch is now getting the color. If you have the ca HDR camera, you can just shoot the HDR uh, of the environment so that you can keep the lighting as it was in the environment. And this is going to help you with the shadings and the shadows, all those type of things. But I don't have that. So I'm just using what I have at the moment. So with that being said, here we have that. And you can see, let me just go back here. And uh, from Blender to EV, let's try that one out. So as you can see, it's this this one is coming visible i don't want it to be visible so i'll hide it for now so it won't have shadows but i just want to show you that it's moving with the camera as you can see now and uh, it's moving past uh, what it's supposed to so i only have 51 frames so let me fix that 51 frames here then we can play And there you have it i will move it from the normal to aces i don't need my color management to be as it is here i want it to be in aces and i don't have aces here so we need to delete this go to aces copy paste for this to take effect i have to close my blender so let me save the scene open scene again there. I don't want it in EV I want it in cycles and uh, I want it in this format as well now you can see it looks nice your scene is nicely there and we just need to unhide the plane so let me just out and hide there we go so that we can have the shadows now but the shadows you have to work with your hdr up until the shadows match the shadows of the like you can see the shadows are moving this side a little bit on this video and the video might look bad but look it, when a composite is gonna be nice in davinci resolved so this is aces and uh, my final one that i want to do is rx 709 that's how I want uh, and uh, just make sure that your AC is here is ACCG then back in fusion what you need to do now I already have my scene set up so I will just open it after you set up the lights the shadows and everything and uh, the layers according to how you want them you just need to uh, render your animation in EXR I don't use uh, PNG uh, I use uh, EXR so you just have to come up here uh, EXR multi-layer that's the one and with that being said after you render your images so i have my images uh in here here's my images and i composite it uh onto this one because it's much easier so i have a black magic uh, footage here raw so i have my aces 1.1 and take this from black magic design video to rec 709 now with that i have my images then i also take them from accg to rec 709 and i matched it back together and here's the last footage that you will have and that looked nicely there so okay now the other thing that i had now the problem with is uh using unreal engine with the tracked information just like i used it here and then from the camera what you need to do is you just import 
one thing i notice is if you import that information it doesn't come as, as it's supposed to so i have my blender render here here is the information you don't need this just need the key and there we have an issue and you see the camera is not even moving i noticed this i will have to take the render from here from the camera straight here and render that out and you will still see there's gonna be some issues i'm rendering it out with that being said let me go and input my camera once more camera input blender fbx but now we have a camera movement you can see it here but now the issue is if you go into transform i want to show you the camera moves but it's moving incorrectly if you check it so one thing i noticed about uh, my translation from unreal engine is they are other way around it's like they are wrong so i will just take it at this frame here exactly so you can see your x is that your y is that and your z is that but now let's go into fusion and what we need is uh, the information like that so we need to go to transform and yes you can see now <coughs> at uh, what frame let's see that one so my x is 0 0.05 let's go to unreal engine 0 0.05 is my x correct and then let's go to blend i mean fusion my y is 0 0.8255 let's go to here you can see now my y is my x my x i mean my y is my z my z is my y so it makes the camera move incorrectly so i will i would like to know if you have any solution on that and if you have please share it with me on how i can move over these so that the camera can move accordingly because at the moment it's not moving accordingly you can see it's only taking certain information correctly but the other information is wrong and that ends up making this not work according to how it's supposed to or if there's any mathematics that i can make in such a way that i can copy this information over here and copy this information over here make sure you just leave that in the comment section with that being said make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos like this and i hope this was the easiest way and if if it wasn't please bear with me i haven't been talking on the videos like this most of the time